Uh, Isaac, congrats on that 21, man. It's good to see you get that 21 plus uh, before May. Uh, just take me through that particular jump. How good did it feel on the board? Um, well, my legs were fatigued today. Um, I had a lot of practice yesterday. Um, I tried to come and stay with high 20s. Um, the second jump, it didn't feel so good, but that third, it felt good for 21. And after that, I fatigued and I was done. Um, you know, how tough has it been, you know, just for long jumpers this year with the way the weather's been? You know, one one weekend it's just chilly, another weekend it's in the 40s or 50s. It was kind of nice here before the rain started to come. How tough is it to, you know, kind of adjust week to week to this weather? Actually, before this week, in the past, in the past, uh, I was mid 20s, um, even with the weather when it was bad. Um, Today it was pretty good. It was in the what, mid 50s or 40s, and it, it was okay. I mean, uh, the weather, I have to jump in it, and uh, it's tough, but I just go through it. Um, you, what do you think it's going to take, you know, as far as from a technical standpoint to get deeper into the 21s up into that 22 range here? Um, well, last week I bought up with 22 by so it was, it was exciting, but I just have to get my feet under me. But I think. Probably in the postseason, I'll definitely hit a 22. Hopefully, a high 20, below 23. You got a chance to do something really special this year. If you make it to state and long jump, you'd be the first uh, three time individual event state qualifier on the boys' side in school history. How special would that be for you to make that charge? That would be very special. Uh, I think the last time, probably almost over 20 years ago, somebody went to states for long jump. Um, it's a privilege going down there, it's an honor. If I do go, it would be exciting. It would be a wonderful thing to do.